Governor Kim Reynolds says her request for federal aid for the building collapse in Davenport was denied. Local 5's Connor O'Neill joins us now to talk us through what happened. Connor. Hey Larissa, so Friday morning Governor Reynolds tweeted out a letter the state got from FEMA, the Federal Emergency Management Agency. FEMA informed Reynolds that the severity of the situation does not warrant an emergency declaration. FEMA's letter is in response to Reynolds' June 6th request for an emergency disaster declaration, which would have included debris removal and emergency protective measures following the six-story apartment building collapse on May 28th, which left three men dead and many injured. We reached out to FEMA's seventh region who work with Iowa, and they said following the governor's request, they took the extent of the disaster, the community impact, and the estimated cost of assistance into consideration. FEMA also told us that the response and recovery to the collapse wasn't beyond the capability of local and state resources. Or in other words, that just basically means FEMA believes Scott County and Iowa, they're able to respond to the site themselves without federal funding, supplies, and personnel. Now, Larissa, the agency also informed me just a few hours ago, might I add, the state of Iowa deferred on the estimated cost of assistance to remedy the site in Davenport with FEMA, which ultimately led to the decision to deny Governor Reynolds' request for help. Well, now, didn't Governor Reynolds make a second request for federal assistance? Yeah, that's true. They actually, the state made a separate request on June 21st, and it's still pending right now. Um, but it's also important to note there's a possibility that Reynolds could appeal um, the denial up until July 28th. Good information. Thank you so yeah. much, Connor.